Scott Frankenstein, a song by Alice Cooper that has nothing to do with this DC multiverse figure. Frankenstein appeared in Detective Comics 135, and here he is from McFarland Toys. What's going on, everyone? Bobbo here, and uh, super late review, but I filmed it, so I better share it. Uh, this guy was probably not in a top 10 of what figures we wanted from McFarland. But here it is. It's a surprise hit. So let's dive into it and see what we got crackalacking with it. Starting with the articulation first, we got a head. It moves around, you know. I, we could do the exorcist thing, but why? Uh, it tilts side to side right there. Uh, it looks up a decent amount. And then it goes down ever so slightly. As for the hand here, uh, we got a ball hinge with rotation and hinge action hidden very nicely i might say and then we got the forearm here the articulation hounds of justice will complain because it's a single jointed elbow and bleh, but i think it works for this guy and then uh we have rotation at the bicep uh the arm goes around the world in and out and uh, moves just fine really no issues there as for the upper body, well, it's interesting. Uh, it can turn at the lower waist. There's just a ball peg in there. Uh, side to side's good. Going back works great, even though I don't know why you'd really use this. Going forward just absolutely sucks because of that giant rubberized marching band outfit. As far as the legs go, they can do the splits, but who's going to be doing that with Frankenstein? He kicks forward only that much. That means he sucks because Marvel Legends can articulate more, according to some people. Um, he's got the thigh thing, upper thigh. I don't know if that counts. Uh, double bend at the knee. Uh, done pretty well. No boot cut, but we do have a hinge that goes up and down and rocks side to side like so. And toe hinge. Who loves a toe hinge? As for the design, sculpt, paint, all that fun stuff, he looks good. He's got a lot of paint on him, a uh, beautiful sculpt, uh, this head, it's very eye-catching. Uh, I love the stitches on the front. Those could have been left unpainted, but they did paint them. So kudos to the McFarland team for knocking that one out of the park with the big whammy. And then, of course, what we got here is we got those black black soulless eyes with the yellow inside and all that looks great as for his arms and upper body and whatnot it's a cool design i like the texture of the skin i like the design of the jacket hate the marching band look that's not a mcfarland call not that i need to apologize for a guy who's worth 300 million dollars but that was a dc comics call it's faithful to that in that aspect and i think it works but I could have done with a different design. But hey, it's eye-catching. We got different colors here. It's not all one thing. So I think that's kind of cool. I love the stitching on the arms and whatnot. It just kind of brightens the day of this figure being on the shelf. As far as the lower body goes, we got some nice thick denim jeans. Um, I imagine jeans like that are not easy to come by. Is Taylor is probably the guy who works on Andre the Giant or Shaquille O'Neal or I don't know. There's two big people I could think of, but uh, that works pretty good. The trench coat sleeveless, like I said, it's a nice softer rubber that works well. And then the boots look like boots that should be on a Frankenstein figure. As for accessories, we got a card and a sword. I know recently announced in the munitions pack too, there's the gold gun. The big giant like steampunky gun so we have to buy the gun pack to get it but that's not for this review that's for that review so yeah we got our display stand a sword and a card i think it works the card looks very nice once again you can see the marching band outfit and see that frankenstein has a belt that's not painted on this figure and then we got a display base it's what we've seen before then we got this sword. At first glance, the sword looks pretty cool. You turn to the side, it's warped as hell. I mean, it is screwed up to the T. But it fits in that slot on the back with no issues. And as far as holding it, 
He can hold it in both hands, but he has one hand specifically designed for the sword. So yeah. And here's a quick size roundup between some baths and some mega figs. And yeah, they look good together. I probably should have thrown Swamp Thing in there, but he's downstairs in the other room and I'm too lazy. And then here he is with a whole bunch of other lines from Mattel, NECA, Creature Replica, Mezco, Mythic Legions, DC Collectibles, Diamond Select, Hasbro, NECA, and Super 7. Final thoughts as this werewolf tears apart this Frankenstein here and we'll never see him again. He's fun. Like I said at the beginning of the video, he's not a character I thought would end up being made. It's not a character I knew a ton about seen him before but that's about it so it's a surprise hit and i think mcfarland executed it quite well um he's got some paint on him which i know a lot of times with mcfarland figures we all get a little sad inside and wish he had more here's a random shot of batman constantine and frankenstein hanging out don't ask me why i just thought it looked cool um but yeah pick him up yeah do you pick them up for retail or at a cheaper price? If you can wait for the cheaper price, go for the cheaper price. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until we see you again, Googly Moogly.